Today I'm going to show you how to repair your leaky hose reel. So I got this at a yard sale. I'm not sure the model. It has a little rack at the bottom that I put weights in so the hose reel doesn't tip over when I pull on it. And there's really no identifying marks on it. The reel has a number 062120 or D. And this model is steerable. Kind of. Has all flat tires, but it's a really good hose reel actually. Really heavy. What's happening here is that water is spraying like crazy. Let me show you. It's spraying from both sides. And as you turn it, wherever it comes out changes. And I've put up with this for a good five years and either I fix this or it's going in the trash. So uh, come along with me and see if we can repair it. <laughs> First step, turn off the water. Then get yourself some C-clip removers. Or you can use a needle nose if you're really careful. I always put my hand over it when I'm doing it because these things can fling you in the face. Just like that. Then you'll see that this won't actually slide off because this bar is in the way. Oh, okay. That is not coming out of there. <laughs> I thought it was just... Wow, it's like welded. So... Well, there you go. Don't do that. That is a brass fitting. Actually, that was pretty corroded. That didn't take much force at all. <laughs> then get yourself one of these Harbor Freight uh, O-ring assortments. This set comes in so handy. Just go out and buy one. Um, and then these washers, or these O-rings, are completely worn down, so They'll probably snap when I pull these off here with a pick. Oh, oh. Ooh, but very brittle. All right, so we got our original size there. I'm just gonna go one at a time so I don't get them confused. Uh, what do we got? So these are round, so they're not gonna be a perfect match, but should work. There we go. Could probably go one size smaller on that one, actually. All right, one size smaller. Oh yeah, that's better. That's a better fit. All right, and then this size, or this side. All right, that one just snapped too. That one looks Okay, it's about the same size, so we'll use the same size O-ring. But I'll start it from the other side, so it doesn't have to go around this big side. Yeah, ignore this broken piece, because I'm going to fix that in a second. Alright, O-ring back on. Perfect. Alrighty, a little bit of soapy water to get this to go back in. Ah, tools. Tools make your life easier. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put my lock ring back on. There we go. And so yours would be attached, but uh, turn this a few times, turn the wheel a few times to seat that rubber properly. I uh, use some clamps to pull the wheel inwards so that the repair doesn't get glued to that bearing. <laughs> um, so let's go get the JB weld.
All right, so I'll be really amazed if the JB weld holds for longer than a few weeks, but at least I can see if the new washers worked. All righty, so the hose is on and it is no longer leaking. My JB welded repair is holding. So if you're doing this, I would recommend if you can't get this to move, just like bend it up or just cut it because I don't know what good it does anyway. Maybe just cut one side even and just like bend it out of the way and then bend it back. I don't know. But, yep, definitely don't try unscrewing this part right here because no wrenches should be put here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a bad time like I did. And she rolls and she winds. She doesn't leak. Alrighty, so uh, thanks for watching.